Today's budget-friendly 3D printers will likely surprise you with their ease of use and features once found only in high-end models. But which one is right for you? In this video, we'll break down the top three best budget 3D printers on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for the best budget 3D printer for beginners, for big builds, or for anything in between, stay tuned. We'll have the perfect option for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Monoprice Mini Delta V2, our pick for best budget 3D printer for beginners. The Monoprice Mini Delta V2 is an excellent example of what an entry-level 3D printer should be. It's strong, versatile, and easy to use, but most importantly, it won't break the bank. The build features a sturdy matte black steel and anodized aluminum frame that's open on three sides. From above, the printer forms an equilateral triangle with cut-off corners. The circular print bed is held in place by three clamps and offers a maximum build area of 4.7 inches in height by 4.3 inches wide by 4.3 inches deep. A small starter coil of PLA filament is included, but you can also use ABS filament. Third-party filament is supported, so you don't have to use Monoprice's filament exclusively. Unlike most 3D printers, the Delta V2 is not based on the Cartesian coordinate system that uses X, Y, and Z axes, and instead uses a delta configuration within the equilateral triangular frame. Three carriages extend vertically 120 degrees apart and stand parallel to each other, which results in greater overall printing speed. The open source program Cura 4.3 is included and will let you set up your prints, scale, move, and rotate objects, and adjust several printing settings. You can easily add supports, control the infill, and adjust layer height and resolution. Choose from six resolution settings, from coarse at 400 microns, all the way up to extra fine at 60 microns. But more advanced users can access additional settings with the click of a button. Once you're finished tweaking your settings, press the slice button, and the software will prepare the file for printing. If you're looking for an entry-level 3D printer that won't empty your wallet, the Monoprice Mini Delta V2 is a very good choice. It features a sturdy build and operates using the Delta system, so it's faster than Cartesian printers, and can use both PLA and ABS filaments. Next up, the Anycubic Viper, our pick for best budget 3D printer for big builds. The Anycubic Viper's open frame design lets you whip up large 3D prints and provides automatic print bed leveling to make the entire process much easier. Best of all, it comes at a budget price point that you'll definitely find appealing. The open frame design is quite spacious and offers a build area of 10.2 inches high by 9.6 inches wide and 9.6 inches deep. The ability to accurately level a print bed is most important when printing large objects, so to make the process less frustrating, the Viper levels its print bed automatically and you can easily launch the leveling routine right from the LCD display. A probe will measure the height of 16 separate points on the print bed, adjusting the height as needed. The print bed itself is a removable sheet of spring steel coated with a thermoplastic polymer that adheres to objects well during the printing process, but is easy enough to remove when the print is done. To prepare and execute your prints, you can use the Flash Print software or Cura. Flash Print supports a wide range of formats and offers a good selection of features. With it, models can be scaled, stretched, or duplicated for printing. They can also be sliced, which is useful if you want to print a large model in smaller parts. The Viper comes with a small coil of filament, enough for just two or three objects, so you'll want to add at least one spool to your order when you buy the printer. For filament, Anycubic sells PLA, ABS, TPU, PETG, and medical grade nylon, all of which can be handled by the Viper. And like the Monoprice Mini Delta V2, you're not restricted to use filament from any particular manufacturer. If you have some experience with 3D printing and have been wanting to create some larger 3D prints, the Anycubic Viper is an excellent choice. Not only is setup a breeze, but print bed leveling is automatic, so you'll spend less time fussing with setup and more time printing. Last but not least, the Flash Forge Adventurer 4, our pick for best 3D printer under $300. The Flash Forge Adventurer 4 is an excellent budget 3D printer capable of high quality prints and features swappable print heads for greater material flexibility and an enclosed design, unlike the Anycubic Viper. The Adventurer 4 has a large 3D printer, and unlike the Monoprice Delta Mini V2 and the Anycubic Viper, has an entirely enclosed printing mechanism. A small fan at the rear of the printer draws air through a HEPA filter and out of the enclosure, greatly reducing odors and small particles generated by the printing process. Clear panels on the top and sides let you keep an eye on your print, and if you're not in the immediate area, a built-in camera will let you remotely monitor your print via smartphone. The clear front access door opens to the print bed, and on the right side is a smaller door that covers the filament reel. This means that the filament is also protected from the outside air, which can be important for materials like PLA that tend to absorb moisture. 
The print bed is flexible and removable, which makes removing prints quick and easy. Like the other 3D printers we've looked at, a touchscreen is the main interface and is very simple to use. One of the biggest advantages the Adventurer 4 has is its ability to swap out print nozzles between 0.3, 0.4, and 0.6mm sizes. Of the two 0.4mm nozzles, one is designed to work at 240 degrees Celsius, while the other works at 265 degrees Celsius for materials like nylon that require higher temperatures. The idea behind these options is that the bigger the nozzle, the more filament can pass through. This allows for thicker layers of material, speeding up print times. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.